This is my 1985 Honda Gyro. After about two months of ownership, I got it with about a thousand miles on it. And I just wanted to report what I found. The top speed on them is about probably about 30 miles an hour. They have a two-speed automatic transmission down in here. I don't exactly know how it works. It's, it's not belt driven. It's but it does have oil in it. The bike has got this really neat lateral movement. It has a brake lock right here which holds the the carriage uh, upright. From going, I'll show you. You have to take the turn the key to the off position and then let the brake down. And when you do this, I'll show you. Grab it right here. When you do this, I'll show you it. The whole bike pivots that far on this pivoting point down here. That's one way. And then if you put if I pull it towards me, that is how far it leans the other way. And I'm gonna see if I can get in front of here and not have it. But this is how far the bike leans over. The rear wheels stay stationary and the whole uh, rider plus the front of the bike is able to pivot. And this is great around corners. It has a 50cc engine like the Honda Aero and not like the Dio engines but the Honda Aero and it has one shock in the back. The wheels in the front are the same no, I'm going to pick this up. Now, like I said, the brake is right there. I'm going to pick this up. You get it up totally straight. And then we pick the parking brake up. And that locks the that locks the little bike in the upright position. It also pulls on the brakes so that it can't go anywhere. You have two nice little foot pegs that I ride on. And I've got uh, all kinds of looks and nice comments, especially from uh, older people, because they've never, it, it, it almost looks like a, an electric scooter for old people, but it's not. And it's the first one I've ever seen outside of YouTube. And I was just lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time to, to get it. Underneath the seat, it has a little fuel gauge not a gauge, but you have your on, off, and reserve, which, since it does not have a an actual gauge, I'll show you what's underneath here. It doesn't have an actual gauge. It has a, if you run out of fuel, and it holds like 0.8 gallons. I don't know how many liters that is. Let's see if I can do this. Hmm. Yeah, hold on. Come on, open it. Just open a second, though. Hmm. Anyway, that opens up, and the gas tank is right beneath it here, and then it has a little oil tank here underneath this. This is a storage box right here, which comes, this slides up and off, and you can put your uh, manuals and tools in it. It also comes with a little rack on the back, and there is a little box that you can buy for it, which it came with. I don't know if it can be bought. And then the only other option was a little tiny rack that fits up over the light. And it's got little tiny Japanese grips. They're actually too small for my hands. But they're all Japanese and that everything in it is kind of retro, you know, chrome and nice looking and it's just a, uh, I'm glad I really got it. It works really good and it's only got like 1100 miles on it. So that's my gyro after a couple months riding it.